Hello, my name is Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to teach you some easy pruning techniques. Now this spotted laurel is looking a little bit sorry for itself, so I'm going to remove some of the tatty foliage. And it's much easier to do that using secateurs. If you were to use shears on this and cut a leaf in half, then the rest of the leaf would just die back and go brown, which is what we're trying to avoid. Now it also looks like this could do with a good feed, which I will do after I've removed some of the leaves with these brown spots on. Now the thing with any kind of pruning, once you've removed everything that does look ill or brown like this, it can look worse before it looks better, but it will come back round. I'm also going to remove these stems here because they've had, it's got dye back at the top there, as you can see, and that's because it's not been pruned back to a new node here. So if I take it to the top of that on an angle, it will send out new shoots at that height. And that's much better than pruning way above a node like that because that would all die back. The rest of that stem would then die back. So it's really important to cut it right back to a new set of leaves there. And I'm gonna take all those off because none of them look attractive. Many people use laurels as hedging plants and they can look fantastic, but clipping them can be quite labour intensive. And I think already that's looking much smarter. I'll mulch around the base now with some compost to give it a good feed and then hopefully in a couple of weeks it should have put on lots of new growth and look much healthier. For more gardening tips, check out silverlinetools.com.